What's up, everyone? It's your boy Rad 89 here, bringing you another rad movie review today. I know it's been a while since I've been posting videos, but I had some problem with my tech. A lot of real-life stuff going on, too, so kind of just took like a little hiatus time off. Thanks to all my new subscribers and everybody who's come to the channel. I hope you stick to the channel. Keep on the lookout for more videos that I'm going to be posting. So today, we're going to be talking about Zack Snyder's Justice League, the Snyder Cut. I finally got a chance to see it. Let's talk about it. Non-spoiler review. Roll it. So as you can see, I got my Justice League shirt on here to talk about Zack Snyder's Justice League, the Snyder Cut. Definitely an improvement from the 2017 version that we got. I was expecting an improvement for sure. I love Zack Snyder. He's a great director. I love his style and the way he sees things and the way he portrays his images and stuff that he storyboards and everything on screen. Like, it's very beautiful. And this was a great improvement on the 2017 Josh Dis League that we got back in that time. So this one, like I said, as far as character development story content the skeleton of the story is still the same in this film but just the journey that he takes us on for these four hours is amazing it's so much better so much more cohesive and every character from batman flash superman wonder woman cyborg they all have their moments in this movie to shine and it really does them justice for sure as like you know no pun intended in justice league but <laughs> Zack snyder really did do honor to all of the characters you can tell he loves this content he loves this universe and this world and he really did justice to all the characters as far as the way it looks oh my god the graphics just the the color saturation is such an improvement compared to what we got in the 2017 one because the 2017 one was more colorful much more of like that avengers vibe you know because we had josh whedon coming in to finish and direct it to finish the project so it had that bright color vibe a lot of like you know thor ragnarok avengers look type to it and this one fits the snyder verse and fits with batman v superman and man of steel it has the same vibe and it's like the same like i said character development that carries on from those films goes into this film so it kind of really does feel like a good three films they're very cohesive now so i love that too and as far as the music the music and the sound mixing is a great improvement as well i was very happy with it all the stuff that snyder decided to put in this one was just so much more of an improvement and made it just hit harder every scene and certain scenes even though we saw them in the 2017 one just the way they were cut the little bit like nuances of extra music and certain lines that were in the scenes just make it so much better and it feels like you want you're on the ride and you're really invested in this film and for me the four hours it still did it's a long four hours it does feel like a long four hours but I enjoyed every moment of it it was just so just epic in every port like every word <laughs> facet of the word epic it is like that for me and like I said it's just one of those films that I really didn't think we would get it I knew people were talking about it for years and the Snyder Cut and they were like just you know this movement was happening and I in, I, in my mind I didn't think we would actually get it so the fact that we were able to see his full vision and what he truly wanted to do is amazing to me and it's great like me I'll probably never return to that 2017 one again I'll probably never watch that again since I've seen this one because this is such like I said a great improvement and in all honesty I think this is I have to rewatch all the DCEU films again just to get my whole vibe on it but this is definitely easily right now in the top three it is definitely probably one of the greatest in my opinion of the DC universe it's in that top three I would like I said have to revisit them all watch them again but right now it's floating around that number three number two spot for me it's four hours long and it's definitely an investment but it's such a great investment like I loved it I like I said loved every moment and it's going to be one of those films that you're never going to forget that's on screen and just being able to see it and see it happen it's great and like I said it's definitely easily one of the best DCEU films that we've gotten so far in this universe and I really do hope we're able to continue more so that's that's the problem with me that's the only thing I could think really negative about it is if nothing else really comes of this 
it's going to hurt. It's going to be one of those films where I watch it and it's going to be like most deserving of a sequel or some kind of carry on, you know, story to make us to see what happens next. It's going to be one of those films if they don't end up doing stuff with the rest of the Snyder verse. So, but like I said, I loved every moment of it. All the characters are so much better. The color, the music, the way it looked, the cinematography, the epicness of the story was so much better. It is a great, great piece of cinema, his, like cinema that we've gotten the chance to see. And I thoroughly happy that Zack Snyder got to put it out for us and see his vision come to life so thanks for sticking around with me guys hit that like and subscribe button and everything so you can stay up to date on the channel and thanks for hanging out with me and as I said thanks to all my new subscribers for coming to the channel stick to the channel I'll be putting out more videos and everything I'm going to be doing a Snyderverse Justice League spoiler review so I could actually talk more in depth about all the stuff that I really liked this is just like my overall view my feel of it but in my book the Snyderverse Justice League is going to get a hard 9 out of 10 this is a great great comic book film that is going to be just entertaining you for four hours and give you some of the most beautiful scenes you're going to want to look at and all the characters are going to have their moment and you're going to love it so Thanks for sticking around with me, guys. Leave your comments down below, too. Tell me what you thought of the film, and have a safe and happy day. Peace out.